Memorial Day weekend just around the corner beginning tomorrow and the Veterans National Memorial and Shrine is remembering veterans who died with a watch fire ceremony. Fox 55's Kelsey Maddox is live there now with details on the history of the watch fire and what it means for those in Fort Wayne. Kelsey. Yeah, Chris, well, museum board members tell me that watch fires date back to George Washington and the Revolutionary War, and they've been used in wars ever since for different purposes. Well, now the purpose is to remember veterans. This is the 34th watch fire in Fort Wayne. As you can see behind me here, it is still going. It was lit at 6 p.m. this evening, and it will stay lit until 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. I spoke with a couple of attendees for why they came today and why it's, this event is so important for veterans in our area. The first log of this year's watch fire honored Jeffrey Weber's nephew, Sergeant First Class Keith Robinson, who died two years ago. Um, after serving in an I Iraq and Kosovo, um, he was exposed to uh, toxic smoke from burn pits, and um, he was 39 years old. Tonight, veterans and their families gathering at the Veterans National Memorial Shrine and Museum, placing logs into the watch fire. Each person says a few words about their loved one, including where they served. Coming to the watch fire is Weber's way of showing his appreciation not only for his nephew, but veterans from all wars. I wasn't even a veteran. I, I didn't serve, but I believe in supporting veterans 100%. Roy Virick is a board member at the museum. He's run the event for the past four years, but every year he honors his two grandfathers who served in World War II. One of them was in D-Day, the other one went into into Japan after they dropped bombs. As you can see, Virat gets emotional when he thinks about the sacrifices of his grandfathers and veterans around the world. But he says seeing veterans and their families come out to the watch fire year after year helps build a sense of community. Every year, it's important for the veterans. It helps them heal. It helps the families heal. I can't express how, how much this helps the community. And they say anyone is welcome between now and 6 p.m. tomorrow to come and place a log for a veteran, a loved one, anyone they may know who has served and died. Somebody today placed a log for the 22 soldiers that are lost every day to suicide. Another person placed a log today for all of the soldiers lost in Pearl Harbor. So again, anybody is welcome to come by the Veterans National Memorial Shrine and Museum until 6 p.m. tomorrow evening. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News.